Did you know one of the biggest weight loss challenges isn't always the food, but your clothes? After the break, we're talking with a stylist about what to wear during your weight loss journey. Stay with us. More GDC coming up. Well, if you're focusing on losing weight, you may be looking in your closet and wondering, what do I wear? How do we dress for that in-between time while dieting? Well, with us this morning is image strategist and style advisor Jordan Stolch, also the founder of Mikado, a virtual personal styling firm. Good morning. Good morning, Elizabeth. So great to be with you. Yeah, thanks for being thanks thanks for being with us this morning. So this is uh, kind of an important topic. I know I've had two kids, right? So obviously there's a bit of a weight loss, uh, a dramatic mm -hmm. weight loss after that. And and you do reach a point where you go in your closet and you've got kind of like your bigger clothes and then your smaller clothes, and you don't really want to buy the in between. So what's your advice? What do we do? Yeah, I think this is really normal. A lot of people fall into this category where maybe they don't want to invest in new clothes yet. And they also don't want to jinx the process. Right. I think they don't want to get ahead of themselves. So they end up just wearing what they already have. The problem being those clothes that they have don't fit them properly right now. So not only do they not feel good on their body when they're kind of baggy, but they also don't look great. So when they see themselves in the mirror, their progress isn't represented back to them. So I always recommend having one to two complete outfits right now that fit you. They don't need to cost a lot of money. They can be really basic things that you can get a lot of wear out of and that you can mix and match. Yeah. But the importance being that you have something that you not only feel good in, but you also look good in. And I think there's a tendency to go, well, I've, I've lost 20 pounds, so I don't need this anymore. Do we get rid of those clothes real fast? Yeah, I think I like to say get them out of your eyesight. So a lot of people will keep those clothes in their closet as the contingency plan. If I need to go back to this, if I don't reach my goals, they're there in my closet. I always say get them out of there put them in a different space in your room or in your home rather if you're not ready to let go of them so that you're not seeing them all the time and that you're not relating to them as something that you're going to need again in the foreseeable future. Kind of a crutch, right? You can just kind of fall back on it and, and maybe Maybe to reach that uh, goal of yours, it might take some time. You say celebrate those mini milestones. How do we do that? Yeah, I think this is so important because we can be really really hard on ourselves when we're expecting the weight loss to happen almost instantaneously. So one habit I like to advise my clients to get into is taking photos along the way. So tracking the progress, looking at yourself, seeing how far you've come, and then also celebrating, you know, how fantastic you look and how much you're able to keep going in the photos in a way that we may not see if we're just looking at ourselves in the mirror and right. not documenting our journey. We have about 20 seconds left. You, you talked about a couple of complete outfits. Can you give us just a couple of items real quick that we should have in our closet? Absolutely. Something we can belt is number one. So pants that you can put a belt in, dress, sweater, anything that we could cinch in in the middle is going to be a game changer in that in-between time. No stretchy pants, no yoga pants. Exactly. <laughs> for more information, visit MikadoPersonalStyling.com. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you.